Hey guys, and welcome to the Outer Worlds. That's right. This uh, we're gonna do uh, story. Uh, normal. Hey. Subtitles on. All of it on. All right. Finally playing this game. Been wanting to play it for a while. Either this or Death Stranding. I'll play Death Stranding later on. Uh. I don't even know what's Death Stranding is even about. So apparently it's made by some people that worked on Fallout. Or some of the original developers of Fallout. Earth to Earth, I think. That's the Earth. I don't know. Is that our character? Oh no, it's stuck. There we go. Okay, just from that, I think I'm gonna like this game. Just, just from that. Wanted. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. And we're the lucky ones to get unfrozen. Body. Average. We're gonna go. Hi. Hmm. Nerve damage in your extremities. Uh, mine. Average. Hmm. Low I'll average. I have to use smaller words around you. Uh, we're gonna do. An intelligent colonist. Very high. I remember when we had those. Personality. You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. Charm. Oh, all the way, Berber. Temperament. A uh, health that's av Oh, I can't go any higher. Next. Uh, Melee. A blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. I'm gonna go dialogue. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. Okay. What's his attitude? I cannot see those. Sub sous chef? Some kind of flavor specialist? You know okay. what they say. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Okay. Gender. Hmm. Wait. We changed the hair color. We can't. I'll make so. Oh, that's perfect. Hair style. Do they have ponytail? Okay, if I can't find one, that's the closest. I think I'm gonna make oh back gender. I'm gonna make a male face. I'm gonna make a ray bird again. <laughs> That's good. Skin tone. How about there? Eye color. How about there. 
eye size hair Let's see what hair they got screw it I'm going back to Sasha <laughs> says they ain't got the right hair face Go back to the original. Yeah, that's good. That's better. That's this better. This decent, I suppose. What's that supposed to mean? They got pink eyes. Or reddish. Ah, that's perfect. Perfect. Hair. Alright, that's... Mine the one that's... I said I was going to use. That's good. Eyebrow size, facial hair. There's no facial hair. Yeah, that's good for Sasha. I like that. Features, makeup. It's good. Dirt, no dirt. Scar, no scar. Age. There's. Where's the? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She is 18, baby. Legal and ready to go. I like that. Decisions, That's pretty good. decisions. Okay, gotta make it. Sasha. Summary. Next. Are you sure? Yes. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Supersonic speed. All right, I don't. <laughs> May Sasha again. Terror two opening laboratory. <sighs> Shit. Watch your language. Got close to Mike there. I was gonna blow them blow into the mic, but that's a little too much. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. The ecology ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on out have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Hmm. Something wrong? Oh, yes. <laughs> Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Uh, I'd rather stay myself, by course, myself. The board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! All right, let's just hope I don't die. There we go. <laughs> I love that. That's his thing. His buttons don't work all the time. Remember the hope. Sixty anniversary. Oh, it's, it's kind of like the Wally kind of. I remember I went to theaters when that first came out. It was a good movie. It's a good film. Now they're not making so many good films with the uh, Disney and Pixar. They're making sequels for some reason. 
Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. All right. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Make it? Yeah, we made it. Ah, oh, you landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in Law's name? Is that him? Oh, that oh. Idiot. <laughs> we landed on him. Plant the beacon and move away. Not stand there holding it. Oh well. Oh. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Well, Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Oh, what? Not what was sure that? I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Okay. That's a shame. Oh, yep. All the buttons are the same. Where well, I'll go on the road again. Hup. <laughs> We're watching a lot of Oni plays, especially uh, PUBG video. He does Seth Rogen long jump. He just hurt, hurt, hurt. I can't, I can't do it. Uh, Oni's too good at doing uh, uh, Seth Rogen's laugh. He, he makes it more funnier that one. Oh, whoa. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. Bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh. That scream did not help my situation. Hey, you, come here. All right, I thought it was a dip. What do you You've want? You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Uh, what happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean. What are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the edges. You are going... You're as good as dead. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Oh, it will. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Alright. I'm off. I do <laughs> I just shot him. Take it all. What's this? Alright. Do I just shoot this? I better back up. Damage my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This is... Uh-oh, look. Oh, whoa. I cannot read that from here. Well, I'm off. Oh. Oh, what? I just... 
Yeah, no surrender. Surrender. Take all your stuff. An arm. I didn't mean to shoot his arm off or nothing like that. Jesus. I am out. Watch this. I'm going to sneakily. Watch this. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what I get for killing that guy. <laughs> I just took his gun and just shot him. He willing it gave it to me, so I... Oh, you again. I won't shoot you this time. Never mind, I was joking. Damn it, I missed it. Do this. T technical time dilation due to uh, okay. So I guess it slows to it does it slows down time okay. So I guess that's a little power. Oh, Like this. I can't take his clothes or nothing. How do I switch weapons? Alright, let's use this. We'll switch when we need it. All right, we're going to do this. Sasha is going to be a good girl. <laughs> oh wait, can you see me? Okay. Sneakily get past them. Guess they don't sneakily do nothing. Big butts, but whoa, okay. I did not do all that damage. You done it, you monster. All right, we got some stuff. Let's go. Ow, I hurt myself. What? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh... It's just a loading violation. Let it go. You out of your mind? No way! La landing. I just remember landing violation. I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just Are you gonna kill know. him for parking? A couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. How dare you. K 
coward. I don't do it myself. Uh, guess I'll have to give you a zero of my customer satisfaction survey. Persuade. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Well, the guy who owned the ship is dead. Fucking so. laminated. It's gonna be fucking laminated. You go ahead, I'll just stay here. I'll just stay here where it's safe. I don't think I'm going first person. I mean, like, third person. Well, I think they're both dead. <laughs> I don't think they made it. So long. Yep, they're dead. Take their stuff, I guess. Where's the woman at? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's right. I'm taking them on with just a knife. Uh, nope, you missed. You, you ain't gonna, uh, uh, you didn't, come here. You better just give up, man. Up, he, he's dead. Get this stuff. All right, we're at the ship now. All right, we're in. Please be informed that this vessel contains. Level up. No valuable plunder. Hello, Marauder. I am Aiden, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Oh yeah? Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you gonna do? Self-destruct? Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks, preparing to eject all boarded parties in five, four, three, Those two, eyes. one. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh, I need to get to the ship. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh. <laughs> I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Oh. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, I get it. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. Okay. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge Christ. identifies you probably can hear the acorns now with his new microphone. As the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, idea. I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'll try my best. I am out. 
Such as out, baby. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Huh. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? <laughs> I don't like your tone. Uh, the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves <laughs> while on patrol. Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. Second time this month. Oh, <laughs> at least it's already happened before. And you'll believe that. About, down on the dirt. Yep. Don't you care about that they died? That who died? Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> he doesn't give we a do shit. need all the hands we got, what with folks in Edgewater dropping off like sissy pig tumors. Less competition, though, come for hunting time. <laughs> you don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, and uh, be sure huh? to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. Be on my way. Damn it, I can't. Put that shovel down. I'm not aggressive. Not aggressive. I am going. <laughs> I'm not aggressive. She's got a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So, uh oh. Huh? You can't see me. I'm in the dirt. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, only I can slice and dice. What? Oh, I got a gun too. Don't see me coming. Okay. Need some help. gives me health okay all right good to know good to know do to do I'm really enjoying this really oh the big old city big old mushrooms and I can walk through them too I'm going on my way oh hey where'd you come from I'm new here boy running around in a marauder's attire Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Why you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe oh. out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. I never got your name. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Oh, I've been killing you. in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. Uh, the place looks like it's falling to pieces. Ah, uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here. I don't belong here. Well, we do belong here. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. 
long as we provide our own cradles. Yeah. I'll be on my way. Can I come through here? No one's stopping me. Maybe I should change clothes, though. Uh, I like that skin tight. No, damn it, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the purple hair. Sasha's going on her way. Alright. I don't know how long this video's gonna be, but... I think it's gonna be a good video to do. I would make Venus, but uh, I don't think you can make a character green in this. I I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think you would be able to, but uh, it's whatever, I guess. Okay, we're in. Who the hell coughed? Oh, I can charge my attacks. Okay. Herp. Okay. Don't know why I did that. Do 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 do. Switch weapons. Miss Olga, I need to explain this to you. The grease monkey, Argo. Seems we've got a guest. Yes. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Uniform? What are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots. Company approved colors. The, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Let's skip the small talk. I've got a ship in need of power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. All right. Let me hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Uh, tell me what I need to the do. people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. All right. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Uh, how will I recognize her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. The workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. 
We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Uh, sure, I can use Great. a little company. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right. Oh, don't, don't accidentally shoot him. All right, let's go. Damn, baby, damn. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Get, get in the elevator. Get, get in the elevator. Oh, or don't. Is there another way out? Get in the. There you. I, uh, I guess that's in. There. So, uh. Like, weird it out a little bit. Hey, Lit. can we talk? Sorry. Yeah? Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Is it bad? Uh. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Uh, I can't blame anyone for one. Want to leave? This town's got issues. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but. Every family's got the one the rest whispering about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, ma'am. I just well, think we've got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody. It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Alright, let's go. Who should I talk? Where should I? You know, I want this one. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your head. I don't know what this is. Okay, I went in a dead end. Could have told me that. Why didn't you tell me I was going to a dead end? I've always felt weird here. It's too clean. Hello! I ain't gonna kill him. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. You don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Uh, this one. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time oh, I, I try to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Uh... Cut off the power to... Yeah, that one. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what should I... Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. 
send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you All don't right. mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I have to get going. <laughs> I wish I would. I think that one guy deserved it for no exact reason was the only person. What do I do now? Alright, we go on. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna try to do the thing wing win the binging and you know, try, try to cut the power off. I don't know which one I'm going to do first, but I think I'll make the right choice. Maybe. Uh, this thumbnail on this video was originally for a game called Steep, but Steep would take too long to update, so I'm not uh, reuse it. I, mean, I guess I'll use it twice, I guess. Whatever. Wait, do we have to go around it? Yes, so let's go. You coming? All right, we're on a little adventure. Hip I like that. We can do a long jump. Can I shoot somebody? <laughs> I shoot you. I better not do that. I need you. Anybody random I see on here just standing around? They're threatening me by standing. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's aliens. Okay. Sure glad I didn't here make me go. miss. What is it? Oh. Good. What you get? I get my health up a little bit. Huh? I'm on my way. I don't have time to fight. behind but screw her she wanted to tag along rewind you die that's what happens is she following me you dumbass you brought them to me that's the last of them. You sure about that did you even do anything all right I guess we're here Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Who says that? Who, who, who said that? Like, who said it? Oh, you don't want any trouble? Yeah. 
she realized she is coming with a psychopath. As when every any character controlled by me, no matter what game it is. Hello, I killed your guy. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be this person. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Oh, good. Uh... Uh, Reed sent me to make you make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? You're living off power that belongs to the town, come back. That's about it. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say this. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Uh, my reasons are my own. I just. Cannery's got a regulator. You want chip parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant. You should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. We'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime. Oh, okay. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. I will. Let's go. We must stop the Edgewater, whatever the. Oh, wait, what? Oh, nice. wait. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Which way do I have to go? I don't know. I, 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 I killed the go. I think I was the only person here. I don't see anybody else. I'm going. I no, I do it. I will get you. Anyway, I changed my mind. Ow! What? The Back it up. Oh, now I'm gonna kill that guy. Why didn't you tell me that there was a minefield? Okay, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I'm good, I'm, good. I'm not good. Continue. I think that was the last one. Come now, the. I guess that one. I don't know. <laughs> we'll go cut the power off of Edgewater if if it ain't restarted all the way back to Edgewater. I don't think it would do that. Hopefully, <laughs> I shouldn't have killed that guy. <laughs> I did it. I did it because of anger. That guy was right. I do have aggressive. I am aggressive. Okay, good. We're back here. So let's try to get through those. Uh, oh, my. that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. You follow her around? She's my girl now. Okay, what do I do? I'm going to around it. See, I found a loophole. Go around the mines. See, that works. And now I'm completely fine. Drink this water. Hup. 
Don't scream so loud. Damn, you just fell a little bit. Hey! Damn. I'm guessing I have to get through there, so I guess I'm gonna. Okay, I can't get back up there. Great. I always wanted to poke around in here. Robot. Oh. Just have to sneak around and run. I'm in! Oh, <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> Is that like their uh, Fallout guy? You know, the guy who does the thumbs up? Is that like their mascot of the game? I'm guessing it is, because it is the disc, too. It's on the disc. Moon guy. Or girl. I don't know. Might be a guy, might be a girl. You never know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> it's definitely going into the movie. <laughs> I'm still making that, by the way. Not yet. I haven't started yet. But uh, the movie's going to be in development. Uh, I hope soon. I hope soon. Oh, it's a dead man. But I hope we... I hope we are, too. Because I... Don't come at me, boy. Don't worry. Everyone all right? Or just me and you, baby. All right. Uh. to do this power uh what do I do oh it's not what I have okay three switches that'll be easy enough hopefully if they're not you'll take care of the robots Okay, that's sealed. Okay, can't break glass. But we have a door. Come on, we can't break glass. Grass. Okay, I don't know. What we gotta do? By my way. That's still sealed. Okay. Ah, that worked. Good. Good. Hey, here. Unexpected. Okay, I'm just leaving her by herself to deal with the robots. Beginning security patrol. Oh. 
I'm just going to end it here. <laughs> I hope you got this video. I hope you subscribe. If you want more out of Wars, like the video. I hope you got the video. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. And goodbye. Make sure I press the button.